Absolute honor to be here with Mariah Duran, not only skateboarder, but also an official Olympian. Let people know a little bit about who you are. You know, a uh, professional skateboarder, um, born and raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, ride for Adidas, for Mountain Dew, uh, and yeah, just been skating for a while, so that's kind of a little bit about myself. What was it like to be a part of history and skate the Olympics? The first time the skateboarding is ever in the Olympics and you were a part of that. How did that feel? Honestly, super unreal. I would have to say like the journey to the Olympics was really insane. Um, but it was definitely, it showed me a side of myself that I didn't know was possible. And I feel like that's kind of like what it is for Olympians. Like you push yourself to a level that you didn't think was possible. And then you go to the Olympics to broadcast it, you know? so. It was really cool to be a part of it for the first ever. I would have never thought skateboarding in the Olympics would be in the same sentence, but yeah. here we are talking about it. And um, yeah, I was super um, excited and blessed that my hard work kind of paid off and I was able to skate in, in the Olympics. So aside from the Olympics, what are some other highlights of your skate career? Some of my highlights, of course, first highlight was signing to, the, to Adidas. I got to quit my uh, part-time job at a pizza spot, so that was pretty sick. Um, in 2018, I signed with them, and then also that same year, I took two gold medals home from X Games, so that was really sick to kind of have that momentum coming into this whole thing. Um, and then, yeah, like 2019 was just like getting into the Olympics, and 2020 was just like, of course, the pandemic happened, but I think I was able to fall back in love with skating for why I did it in the first place, so it was really cool to kind of do that, and then here we are now, you know? Are you a sneakerhead? By any chance, or not um, really? I haven't really dabbled too much into it, um, but I know a lot of my friends are definitely sneakerheads for sure. Is there a favorite Adidas shoe that you might have? Um, I've been a fan of like the Yeezys. Um, I've yet to try to like find the right one that I want to yeah. get. Uh, favorite shoe? I mean, I, I've really only looked into those. You know, yeah. of course, riding with Adidas. I mean, you have um, your I own actually, shoes. Yeah, I have my own shoes, you know. Yeah. Um, but um, some of the Ivy Parks that were dropped are pretty cool with Adidas. Uh, and I think that's kind of like all I've really dabbled into. So what does it mean to you to have your shoes and your Olympic jersey enshrined at the Sneakertopia Museum? I think it's uh, amazing. I'm super honored. Um, and I think the thing with skateboarding is it's introduced me to so many different things that I never would have thought would gain my interest, you know what I mean? I kind of just go with the flow, like the Olympics, there's stuff to take away. Yeah. And I feel like definitely from here, just being present in here for the first time, it's like, I'm taking away so much that I'm like, I'm after today I might become a sneakerhead and yeah. you know, I might have to get a bigger closet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super honored and um, yeah. Has anybody ever doubted you or have you ever doubted yourself where you felt like it actually could stop you from going after what you are chasing? And if so, how did you overcome it? Like what motivates you to persevere through any types of doubt? Um, I feel like in anything that you're passionate about, you either start doubting it. I mean, I feel like skateboarding is such a trial and error, like fall or a land. Yeah. And you're introduced immediately. That's how most skaters are. First time you get on a skateboard, you fall and you have to decide if you want to get back up again. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like you kind of doubt what is possible in a way. Um, but I think to overcome that, it's kind of one of those things you just have to like change your perspective. I think it's all about, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. If you think it's possible, then it's possible to you. And you just like kind of just have that on perspective. So, um, because I think that that's like the main thing you need to focus on. Because right. you can't change anybody else's perspective. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, you can't waste your energy on that. Um, the only energy you should like waste it on, well, not waste it, but give yourself is your, your own perspective. And if you think it's possible, then go for it. And I think I've always like held by that. And I was able to you know, do some things like, of course, you're doubting yourself. Like yeah. sometimes you walk up to a skate rail and you're like, I think I might, you know, get smoked or like yeah. slam or fall on my head or sack. And those are all the doubts that you feed yourself. But then in reality, you still think it's possible because of like all your other work that you've done. You know what I mean? Right. And you just have to trust, trust yourself. And then once you start gaining that trust with yourself, you're able to kind of pursue a little bit more and kind of like forget about the doubt, you know? Facts. Yeah. Facts. That's real talk. Yeah. Inspiring. Yeah. Are you preparing for the next PSA stop on December 4th? Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm honestly just like doing other contests in between, and I feel like that's always some sort of preparation. I think the best preparation is, you know, 
having peace of mind and staying on your board and doing what you love. Facts. And the only thing you can really control is like the present and you know, you're just trying to win over tomorrow. So that's, yeah. that's, that's what I kind of go by when I'm going for these contests. What advice do you have for any up and coming skaters? My advice would be to do it because you love it. Because it's going to test you a lot of other ways. And if you love what you, if you love doing it, then you're going to keep going. You're going to keep, you know, seeing these doors that are opening. Um, but you have to really do it for yourself at the end of the day because it's a dangerous sport. Like it's not, you know, yeah. not everybody can do it and it's not for everybody. But it's for the people that are down to just, you know, keep falling and getting back up. So just do it because you love it, you know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Well, Mariah Duran, I'm excited for you. Congratulations on the enshrinement here at Sneakertopia. And I'm super hyped to have you a part of PSA, Premier Skateboard Association. And I'm looking forward to all the great things you're going to continue to do. Thank you for your time. Of course. Thank you, guys. Yeah.